having a picnic today, a little early Mother's Day, and we're excited to have Sonia Keister, a cookbook author and food blogger locally, with some great ideas. If hypothetically, I've got two dads standing right there, hypothetically you haven't planned Mother's Day, pay attention, you might get some great ideas. Awesome, well thank you for having me. Happy Mother's Day to all of you out there, especially my own lovely, amazing mother. And I know you all just wanna relax on Mother's Day this year, so picnicking is really the great, a great way to do it. I have some ideas of how to make dips and spreads ahead of time. All these recipes are on my blog, The Rustic Fork. If you make them and store them right in the canning jar, then it's so easy, all you have to do is bring right. the canning jar and they with look you. really nice too, and they're reusable, which is great. Right. So over here we have slow roasted tomatoes with shallots and honey, mm -hmm. kind of caramelizes, and that's a great start for a BLT. Just put out the bread, the cheese. People can build their own. You don't mm -hmm. have to make people sandwiches on Mother's Day. How long? No. How long will that last? Would you say? The tomatoes actually will last about a week, and that's a, that's a nice thing. This is a tapenade, same thing. You can make that today, and it's it's great for Sunday. All of these, in fact, could be made today. Uh, the one thing I'd make the day ahead is this pasta salad. I'm gonna show you how to make that in just a second. This is an olive and uh, artichoke tapenade, super easy and quick to make. Here's a roasted garlic and shallot, um, I'm sorry, and parsley nice. um, spread, and that goes great with just some grilled peppers Perfect. and onions. Where do you get the canning jars? I actually got those size. at Crate and Barrel. Okay. Yeah, they come, and they're, they're very- You can even get them at like, our, drug stores have them a yes. lot of times in the houseware section. And they're So let's make the pasta salad. Okay, so the key to a pasta salad, I don't like mine very mayonnaise-y. I don't know about you. I can't stand mayonnaise. Right. We're gonna get along just fine. Okay. Hate it, actually. <laughs> right. Same thing with Tamara. Tamara doesn't like it either. So, uh, so the key to a good picnic salad, I think, is you still wanna get flavor in there. So while, I'm sorry, while the pasta is cooking, so our pasta is cooking. Yeah, we, we're gonna make the base, and we're just gonna add about a tablespoon of mustard, about a third a cup of Parmesan cheese, and only a half a cup of mayonnaise in this whole thing. So I'm using about eight ounces of pasta, which is about half a box. Okay. So you can see it's, it's not very mayonnaise-y for all that pasta. You make your base, and when the pasta is still hot, you drain it. Add it right in. So do you have to do it hot because it absorbs the flavor? That's right, so oh. that's the key. It's gonna actually look creamy at first, almost like a mac and cheese, but once it sits up overnight, at least a couple hours, but overnight is key, it's gonna look like the one that's up there. So that's what gives it that good flavor. Yeah. Let's just say hypothetically, you didn't like mustard either. Mm -hmm. Could you use like a balsamic dressing instead? Would that still soak in? You could, I would actually probably just use a little bit maybe of olive oil and white wine mixed okay. together. I'm trying for Tamara because we have the same exact taste on this. Okay, stuff. so she doesn't <laughs> like mustard. <laughs> you want a little acidity to a it. A little bit of something. So some lemon juice. And now the real key here is we're gonna add extra flavor. We sauteed um, a couple tablespoons of olive oil. When you want extra oil because you want it to soak into the noodles. So we're making pancetta with lots of garlic and a little bit of red pepper. I'm Beautiful. using a red uh, Fresno pepper. It's not very hot at all. We are running out of time, but you also use fava beans as well, which are in season, so super easy to get. Yes. Thank you so much. Have a great Mother's Day. Thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate the ideas. Now